first call. We got Richard on the first call. Oh, yeah. Richard's going to be a beauty. I'm going to bring him on. You talk to him. I ain't talking to him. I told you. Richard calls. I'm going to go hide in the closet. There is no closet. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll go hide. What do you think? Suggestions? Don't bend over and try. Hang in there. Fuck. Doing fine. Doing fine. Doing fine. All artists know that you do not critique a work in progress. Oh, I would much rather have the critique than more. I, 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 I like learning critique. You're doing fine. Doing fine. Bob, the critique is writing. Oh God, that's not good. Homer, there. Homer, there. Homer, there. Homer, there. Quarter of an ounce of sea foil to take care of that part. The cherry box trigger. Artifact of sea foil to sea foil. Let's be realistic about this. I was kind of bored to run five bucks to take care of that problem. <laughs> Drives are so interesting. I want the tape, man. So you want more civilized. Buy me a phone. Yeah. You got how many knives up there right now? 18 running right now. I'm fixing to go to 22 or 23. 23. Within a month. Within a month. Since we set up the project. I thought there was something like 27 or 27. We've got them set up. We don't have lines. We don't have lines. Not all of them. Not all of them. Redwood. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy.
Uh, no, that was my mother. Thank you. No, that's what you get from a lot of little dogs if you're not paying attention. Okay. Uh, Ray, down here for Mobile. What do you do down there in Mobile, Ray? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not, not, not much work going on down there in Mobile. Uh, have you ever thought about getting into computers as a way of living? To make a living? No, no, yeah, they're running things. You, you just sit there and watch that seat front, huh? Uh, have you ever seen Windows? Windows? Uh, I understand that. But somehow I knew that was coming. I just, I saw that. I saw that from around the corner. Don't sit right here, and I'm sure he heard you say hello. Uh, see you, Red. See you, Red. Hey, 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 I don't think, you know. I think we got somebody else on the line there. We're going to take him out of line. We're going to take him. Richard on line Richard's two. On line two. Richard? Richard? Hey, Richard. Rocky. 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 All right, what's up, right, buddy? What's up, buddy? Well, that's what we need. That's what we need. Hey, Richard. Did any of us did any of us start out start here in this in this uh, with, with computers as as a living? You know, I, I honestly, honestly, this is a serious, well, I mean, this is a serious question. When you were in high school, did you live in computers? Exactly. Say, every everyone backs into it, and I tell you, I, I was a photographer. You know that. And I didn't start out to be a photographer. I started out to be, believe it or not, I had this big interest in nuclear nuclear chemistry. Someone handed me a camera, and off I went. And and I, I find the same thing with computers. Most people who are into computers started somewhere else, and either backed into it, fell into it, or slipped in it. Or slipped in it. That's a good. That's a good. Exactly. Exactly. An excellent point. 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 Well, wait a second, Roger. Well, we got to tell you a lot about what you're doing. What you're doing with it. So we can plug the makers now. I mean, that's it. I mean, that's it. <laughs> Dude, I want you to know that being a show sister, I really appreciate being called a user. Thank you. I mean, I do. I really do. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Right. 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 I don't think it's going to take 10 years. I think if it takes 10 years, I'm, I'm, going to be, I'm going to be very, very upset if it takes more than the next two or three. I'll tell you one thing, I, I, and, and you know this, so I, I guess I'm talking to an audience out there. Folks, this thing grows exponential. I promise you. Uh, where, where technology used to take the R&D, research and development, and in this, this stuff used to take uh, over two years, three years for new things to come out. People move down to 90 days. And pretty soon it's going to be every 30 days. And the technology is moving so fast and expanding so quickly that if if you don't get a grip on it and get a hold of it and get your children involved in this and get your schools involved in this and get behind them and support them, we're going to, if you don't have, if you don't have any computer literacy here in five years, that means, what do you think? What are you going to do in five years if you can't run a computer? Yeah, hey, I'm work on the yeah, 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 we got a good job with a lot of heavy boxes. <laughs> <laughs> get, get a lot of those floppy discs. A lot of those floppy discs, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely well. Absolutely well. Sure. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. I appreciate that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to sit here and sit here. Good deal. We're going to lay a rocket. Thanks for coming, buddy. Thanks for coming, buddy. Well, I think what, what Rocky really wants to do is talking about here and again with children. You know, David Bingham knows, and lot of, everyone who knows me, I get very involved with issues involving children, the Children's Hospital, and the Shriners, uh, uh, Burn Hospital for Children, and things like that. And one of my big things is education. I have a six-year-old grandson. I want to say, hello to my grandson. Wayne, I know you out there listening, buddy. Uh, my grandson learned his ABCs when he was three years old. He could recite them for you. And he learned them from a computer. He learned them from a game that he, he picked up, and I'll tell you, his share work. Uh, shareware is a great concept that brings computer programs, educational things into the hands of people who otherwise could not possibly afford it. When, uh, when software was selling, uh, cheap software was selling for $150, shareware was out here for $15. That still is, absolutely. Shareware is a great concept. It's a try it before you buy it type proposition. Uh, virtually all BBSs carry some form of shareware programs. Uh, the Matrix has an education directory. If you have a computer, Computer. And you don't have a modem, I think you're in some serious trouble. Uh, modems uh, these, these days, you can buy a little 2400 ball modems for $30, and uh, uh, high speed modems are not that expensive, $100, $100 here. Right? If you don't have one and you're 140, you need to get one. And uh, download some of these files. Get into these, get into these, these PBSs here in town and look at what's available here. Uh, in, in as much as teaching your kids, give them a head start, give them a break, because I'm telling you now, if you have a five, six year old, seven year old child, in ten years they will love you for the fact that you gave them a break. Alright, we've got a line four running up here, George from Huffman, George, George, what's up buddy? What's up buddy? Uh, and now, now we have a voice. Now we have a voice. Now we still don't have a face. Don't have a face. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Global conspiracy. <laughs> Did y'all catch that little piece of dead air right there behind Oh, yeah? <laughs> Okay, George, listen, we, we don't have any AKs down here with bayonets, and, and uh, the gun control people aren't, aren't uh, being down the doors, and I don't think I want to avoid them in. But, uh, <laughs> well, you know, if you want to talk about the conspiracy thing, and, and I don't, but if you want to talk about the conspiracy thing, I'll say this much. I don't think there is as deep a conspiracy going on against the gun ownership as a lot of people would report to be. And I, I, to, to my way of thinking, I think that um, uh, the the it's the the old the age old problem of the loudest are being heard, not not the numbers, the volume of of, of, of these people are being heard as opposed to the number of people. We have a silent majority out here who don't want to see handguns go away. That's my opinion. They didn't really act. Well, George pretty well knows my opinion. I, I agree with him a couple of times to a certain degree. I think, uh, I think uh, George would take a little bit too far. Like I told Keith before, you can only get you can only get so far with this before you just run it in the ground and really make so much noise so people stop listening. Stop listening. That's, a, that's a problem. That is a problem. I think a lot of people take a and I have been involved in and politically and don't even want to call it. I think a lot of people take 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 I've had people who have, who are so adamant and so militant uh, milit uh, with, with this abortion thing that it, they don't win numbers for their side. I think when you cross that line, when you get behind something so deep that you can't find anything else, I think you're in trouble. I think you hurt your position more than you help it. Uh, old Keith, Keith has a tendency to do that from time to time in his posts. I've read some of his posts on the board, and I've sat back and went, huh? <laughs> yeah, it, it makes it, it makes real it hard sometimes hard to wonder sometimes to wonder if, if you're really if you're really if you're really if you're operating really on all lighting on all lighting. Well, George, listen, you, you called to say hi. We appreciate you calling to say hi, and uh, hopefully we're going to get to do this uh, some other time. Uh, you know, everybody call in and tell the station how much you love us, and see if they would offer some job. Okay. 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 Right, well. Yeah, see. Yeah, see. All right, George. All right, George. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Virtually every sit out by virtually every sit out by no George is a proponent of free speech. Free speech. You know, and, and that's something that uh, whether we agree with you, whether we disagree with you, we will sure as hell stand there and defend your right to say whatever it is you want to say. And we'll do that in a, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Nobody's filtered you out yet. No, you're not my choice, George. George, thanks a lot, buddy. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Bob Crawford and Damian Fury, a special guest co-host this afternoon, visitors from cyberspace. If I can talk with them about whatever it might be, if you've known them from the BBSs, that's the...